Welcome back to NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen as we get insights from beef cattle producers just like you and me into the concerns, challenges, and strategies for managing our operations. Guys, I, I want to talk a little bit about Washington, D.C. in this next segment here. And, uh, you know, one of the things that's been on the top of mind of so many cattle producers is the issue of trade. We, we've heard a lot of rhetoric from President Trump uh, about NAFTA, about TPP. And uh, certainly uh, we're generating about $300 uh, head value uh, because of our foreign trade right now. You've mentioned it before. We're adding pounds of, of product as we build the cow herd. Uh, I, I think it's going to be cr pretty critically important long term. Uh, Dan, what are your thoughts relative to the overall trade picture and what we should expect out of Washington, D.C.? Well, I mean, with the rhetoric coming out of the administration the last few months, I think that we have a reason to be a little bit nervous. We've worked really hard over the last 15, 20 years to make sure that we can get our product into markets around the world that increase value to us as producers. Uh, we've worked really hard to grow those markets, expand those markets, and try and even find new markets. So when we talk about maybe things that the administration have been talking about that could trigger some problems with that for us as beef producers, I think we should be pretty concerned. It's not only important that I think we get our product out around the world, but when we take a look at pork and poultry production right now as well, it's critically important for us as cattlemen that we can export those products as well to help clear the market and make sure that we can retain demand domestically and internationally. So trade is very, very important. And I think it's something that we're going to be continuing to be talking about and focused on for quite a while. Craig, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, on the trade issue, you know, we, one reason we do trade is we trade a lot of the products we don't consume over here. Sure. Uh, take, for example, the tongue. The tongue allowed a dollar, dollar and a half for every 550 pound calf as long as it's exported because it has that much more value in the open market. The other regulations we're looking at out there is, you know, we have we have a lot of regulatory that we hope that we get rolled back because, you know, w when we have these tough times, all these pressures and regulations are adding to our fixed costs. So we, we, we want to roll back a lot of these regulations. Why the United States be an issue? And we can, we can talk down the way, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of things that bother us. Uh, taxes, you know, how are we going to pass pass the operation down the next generation, Section 179, so we can utilize and, and uh, be able to manage and purchase some of this equipment we see in this trade show today, uh, the benefits of the producer. Immigration is another thing that we're looking at, uh, the overreach of the federal government on private lands. Uh, there's a whole host of things out there, you know. Uh, we still have uh, issues that uh, are bothering a lot of people as far as the market volatility. So we're going to stay engaged on that kind of thing because we have to uh, we, ha we have to have a market. And, you know, between markets and regulation and 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 having a place to sell our product, those are all critical things to the industry to keep moving it forward. It does appear that this Trump administration is uh, is going to. Uh, um, uh, take some of the regulations out of our business or at least limit the amount of new regulations that can be passed. Uh, what's your read, uh, whether we talk about things like Waters of the United States and the Endangered Species Act, uh, what's your read on some of those issues, Dan? Yeah, I mean, those are the issues that keep cattlemen up at night in the West. When you talk about the Waters of the United States uh, regulations, that's something that's going to change the way we do everything in the West. When you talk about the federal government uh, basically being able to manage every watershed in the western United States and take control of that water, that is something that's just going to be life-changing for the ranchers across the West. So I really hope that we do see some, some regulation reform on things like waters of the United States. Endangered Species Act is the same way. There's been nothing that's changed the way ranching in the West has been done over the last hundred years more than the Endangered Species Act. It really puts pressure on western ranchers and, and folks across the eastern part of the country as well. And uh, I really hope we see some reform on both of those. Sasha, any other regulatory issues you all face in the Midwest? We do. We face some water issues, um, some algae bloom uh, in our state specifically. And, um, you know, I can't, you cannot over communicate with our legislators and, uh, and, and connect some emotion there and show them our story and a face with the, with the industry and, uh, and just, you know, be active in your, in your state association, the national um, just to get in there and, and just do what you can to, to preserve our country and make our industry great. It's a great point, Sasha. And getting engaged with your legislators really is important, isn't it, Craig? We have to stay engaged with our legislators. You know, that is, that's key. They're going to listen to their constituents, okay? And uh, if, if, if we're not saying something, the other side is, and, and we can't take anything for granted. We all live in uh, rural areas, but... Uh, 
it's never more more vitally important to get engaged with your legislators on a grassroots level. I couldn't agree more. Well, thank you guys for your comments. And now let me say that we are all stronger together than we are alone. So consider becoming a member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association to unite with others who share your values and are committed to protecting a way of life in cattle country. To join NCBA, just call 1-866-USA-BEEF or go to the website, that's beefusa.org.